Okay, so the rostral spinocerebellar tract is uh, similar as far as the information that goes inside it to the ventral spinocerebellar tract, except that the ventral was for lower extremity and the rostral takes unconscious proprioception from grosser many fibers from muscle spindles or Golgi tendon organ from the upper extremity, C1 to C8. So let's say that this guy's hand um, muscle spindle was stretched or its Golgi tendon sensed a lot of tension. The fibers will take the information to the uh, dorsal root ganglion in which the cell bodies are located. Um, the neurons over here are pseudounipolar, so the information is taken to the spinal cord and you will have your first synapse in lamina 5. Then the information will go up via the fasciculus cuneatus. Uh, this is the same tract we saw in uh, dorsal column for upper extremity and the information is going to enter the cerebellum via inferior peduncles. So then um, from this point on everything is happening in cerebellum again because this information is unconscious proprioception it does not need to go to your cortex it is just processed in the cerebellum. So then the inferior peduncles uh, change their names to mossy fibers you will have your second synapse at granule cells the information is sent to the Purkinje cells via parallel fibers you will have your third synapse in the Purkinje cells. Then the information is sent deep to the cerebellum via the axon of Purkinje cells, and the last synapse or the fourth synapse is located in the deep cerebellar nucleus.